a uh, friend of mine, McMaster and Jerome Hayden, always played the modern defense. Delayed, de de delayed developing this knife for a long time. But how do you castle if you don't uh, develop that knife? Okay, so I'll try to clean this as I go. Okay, so let's play D6. Now I've got some lines, I'll pin that knight. Might have betrayed it. Okay, so bishop C4. So here there's a lot of ways to go wrong here. For instance, knight D7 is a blunder because if bishop takes F7 with check. King takes, knight g5 check, and, uh, you know, black's in trouble. If king f8, knight e6 wins the queen, if king e8, knight e6 wins the queen. So here I can't quite play it Hankin style. I have to develop this knight. And oh, by the way, also bishop uh, g4 is a mistake. So bishop takes f7, king takes, and knight g5, winning the uh, bishop on g4. Okay, so knight f6. So I'll get to delay developing the uh, knight. Now we're close to transposing into a perk defense. We have a lot to learn about the modern defense, but. Uh, I understand a lot of the tactics that arise from it. Okay, so he needs to defend his uh, e4 pawn. So now I can do something similar to what I did last time. I can play c6, and the idea here is that I might play b5 and b4 and then steal his pawn. So he has to be on the lookout for that. I don't know if I want to do that. I delayed it last game and, uh, until it was more favorable. So c6 is just a, a simple uh, uh, waiting move, which solidifies my center, supports the d5 square. But you know, I still have. I still have problems. I might use that. Okay, so I found bishop b3. That's good. Now, um, knight here. Let's see. Here comes this move again. King takes. Knight check. Um, king has to go back to g8. So here I'll just go ahead and castle. And get the chore done. Now I can play it for knight e7 and e5. The question is, why well, I, well, I want to play bishop g4? I was talking about it. Um, play for e5. Now it also restrains white from pushing e5. This pawn pawn become vulnerable in a lot of cases. It just comes up here. Now, let's see. E5. Pawn takes, pawn takes. He did do it. Okay, so uh, takes, takes, knight g5, he has e6. Uh,
Let's see where I want to put things here. E6. <coughs> Get E6 in almost regardless here. Um, well, I have to work here. Let's see. Sure. Right off the top of my head. Okay. Now I got 12 minutes to figure it out. Okay. The other thing I do is play the night on D5. Let's <coughs> see, knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes. Allows a lot of wholesale trading. Uh, might do that. Let's see. The question is how bad do I care about this coming in? Nothing's protecting the knight on G4. In some cases, uh, if, if I'm trading, you know, there's a fork down here. So, you could argue here I bumble this. Contakes. Contakes. Knight d5 directly. Knight takes. Pawn takes. Queen takes. I get up with the d5. I'm going to play knight d5. Let's see, he could play his wishes to pawn takes, knight takes, pawn takes. Maybe he wins a pawn here. So I'm not the quickest tactically. So this might work for white to take on d6. The point is when I take back. Sense that he takes on d5 and steals a pawn. So, you know, it's easy to see that I'm going to pull pawn, you know, but you got to look a little deeper sometimes because you see I'm going to run it back here. So, one takes, and I did find good. Okay. So, uh, I have to lose a pawn here. The net result is uh, I have some double pawns. So, I takes, one takes e7. I takes, no, I can't take this pawn. Wait a minute, or can I? So, I takes, pawn takes. Oh, I win the queen back. Knight takes, pawn takes. Knight takes queen, pawn takes queen equals queen check. Rook takes, I got a pawn. Or am I? Yeah, I am. Uh, okay. Takes, pawn takes, knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes. Okay, so let's see, knight takes, pawn takes. Queen takes, 
context, I have some double palms. A lot of times the C5 push doesn't work for white. I wasn't really paying attention to it because of that. So he needs to take on E7. I take the queen. He takes. Six, wearing C7, uh, half the C7 weight because he's gonna, he's going to hit it. So White's play needs to uh, take on E7. The old switches that. Yeah, you know, it's like things that remind me when I played Blitz Chess, I would uh, make moves and then see what was wrong with them immediately after. Uh, that's why I'm a Blitz Chess player. This isn't technically Blitz, it's a uh, more extended Blitz. It's not standard, standard kind of controls. They have two hours on your clock or something close to that. 40 moves. Okay, now let's just review again. If I take he takes, I take here, he takes there, and he's down a pawn, so I have to stop and take this. Now he needs to take this, because it's a piece down. Like, although he could play with one. Um, well, I like to just, I'm going to take his queen. He takes my queen. crazy tactics. I can always get back at my pawn back on B2. Okay, so White has the, will have the advantage of the pawn up. There will be a double pawn. Okay, so now might be six. So here you should play uh, maybe bishop f4 to take uh, c7 from my queen. Um, although I'm probably going to play bishop g4 <coughs> in response. I could try a sneaky move a, a4, try to get uh, bishop e6 in, but I don't think that helps him. It makes his a4 pawn a4 pawn of weakly unexpected to hit the uh, queen. Okay, so now um, he slides over to c7. Now, if he plays g3 to get bishop f4, and he's weakening his uh, king side a little bit, that allows me to get uh, bishop g4 in, and I have a pin for what it's worth. So, he has an extra pawn. This is a double one. This is an extra pawn. I give him good credit for finding it. I saw it after I allowed it. So when he needs to develop his bishop <coughs> on c1, uh, putting it on b2 maybe, but okay, he played there. Not sure if that's, if 
best place for it, but flavor D8. Or maybe I can generate some counterplay with C5 at some point. Not yet. Bishop can take it. He plays my here with yeah, I'm in trouble here. No, I just answer with my d5. Okay, well, I weakened this king in position. So, um, let's see. Bishop g4, let's just give him a pin. Here, I have to go in the corner. Yeah, and did box down. Good job. Okay, now I get to defend two pawns down. But the file is opening up. I don't see any of this coming. So bishop takes f7 check, king h8, rook takes d7, queen takes d7. Oh, you missed it. You missed it. Oh, wow. Okay, well. Uh, take with the queen, obviously. Now, if he plays this, he gets a queen. If he plays this, I take a piece. Queen here. Okay, well, I just lost the temple for you. Now I get rook d8 in here, d8. He has to go back to d1. Is it d3, I guess? D1. <coughs> I don't think you should have gone back to D1. Okay, now when I get him in, I. I don't know, I can't play Queen D5. <laughs> okay, uh. Queen F5, King G2, force. Queen F5 ties him up. I suppose King on G2. Let's see. Queen F5 would replace Knight H4. Let me see. Right, and 
minutes left. A5, C4. D5 to play C4. I'd love to have my pawn on B5. Because this man has a good pawn. It restrains the C pawn. Um, so you play knight D5. And if C4. Play knight F6. Start to put the pressure on D4. At some point, he needs to play uh, queen, D, queen D3 and break this pin. They're theoretically lost if you take on a seven of his bishop. Okay. So, oh, I just walked into the pen. Okay, yeah, that was not good. Now you have to play King G2 and you're tied up. Bend against the king and the knight's bend against the queen. So here I think uh, rook e6, and he's going to be hard pressed to stop rook f6. You gotta find a way to get back rank check in. Because, you know, I'm not gonna block with the bishop. <laughs> it gets eaten. Okay, so we're B8. There's this possibility of a back rank check. Alright. Um, rook F6. Rook takes. Bishop takes. Gets this check, you know, and I block with the bishop. I, my king has a flight square. Although he could take with the bishop, and, and there's ideas of <laughs> coming back here. It's, it's here. Okay, so rook f6. Yeah, it's a shame you don't analyze this. You'll find that you were uh, theoretically winning the bishop takes f7 check. I just bungled it. Plainly enough, that's going to happen. As you get better, you'll win these positions. So, you know, G3 uh, weakened White's position. So he apparently had, uh, he had Rook down here earlier. I didn't see that. He didn't see it earlier. So he played G3, G7. What am I doing here? Um, 
Bishop D7, nice little worker Bishop takes. One. So I take it with the bishop. I still have to watch my back rank mate, my back rank. Yeah, him playing bishop takes d5 a few moves ago wasn't the best idea. It violates that real procedure. He's, he's, he's moving my queen up to. Uh, up to d5. So his queen has to get safe here. I go to e8, in which case I can play rook here. I can follow b5 at some point. Keeping his rook out. I didn't have time for that. Let's see, bishop takes. Or check, get you back. So he's got it now. The trickiest one is when he takes with the bishop. That's the trickiest one. So I have to make sure I don't get back right maybe here. Giving up a queen to do this. So I see bishop check, king d7, bishop check, king h7. I'm out of woods. You know, this king is vulnerable. Something with rook takes, queen f3 check, king back. Bishop here, h3, queen takes. I may have my mate, I may have a mate with rook takes up too. Now he can threaten a mate of his own, but I'll, I'll just make him. Did uh, I'll do a rematch see if he wants one? I'll play another one if he wants. 